Hey, my lovely Barry Q family, how y'all doing? It's Pedro back here again, and we are here for the follow-up video from my unboxing of the E-Nail Couture products. We are going to work on this left hand because my first video on here doing my own nails is going to be done with my dominant hand, best believe. So I'm right-handed, so hopefully the application is not too bad. Um, so we're going to try to use Max's products from E-Nail Couture. We're going to use the 123 Go Soft Gel Nail Extension System along with his wipes. We're going to try to use his brush, his gummy jelly, as well as his bubble gum gel to adhere those beautiful tips to my nails. I got my cuticle pusher just to help scoop the bubblegum gel. I got my UV LED lamp for our curing and we are ready to go. And I think we're going to use some of these bling on these nails today. So let's go. All right, y'all. So Mita, um, I don't have primer for or dehydrator from necessarily one company. So I have the Model 1's Dehydrator and the Young Nails Primer. We are going to be using these nail tips. Now we are just gonna sort this out and we are gonna find our nail sizes. Um, I kinda know my sizes, so let's just go through, you know, fit them on the nail, make sure they fit sidewall to sidewall. If they're too small, they will cure and hurt and pinch on your nail and you do not want that. Too large, and it will just be spilling over and it will not adhere properly and it will be it will lift so fast so make sure it fits sidewall to sidewall if for any reason none of the sizes fit you know try to get a larger size go that way go that route and then just file out the bottom edges um, near the cuticle with a file to make it fit and customize these tips that's the great thing about these I love these types of things, so you can do that. Uh, let's see, number 10. Let me try number 10 for my pinky. Let me see, let me see. Hmm. So you see, that one's a little small. It don't go sidewall to sidewall. It do not do that. So we need a bigger one. So remember, lower number is, the lower the number, the larger it gets. So I needed a bigger one, so I'm going with a nine. And that one fits perf. So we're going to go with that. So now I got my nails all picked out. Look how cute. I'm so excited, y'all. I want to be so fierce. I want to be pointing at everything. So as you can see, it is beautiful. The structure, the strengths, everything. So what we need to do is right now for some longevity, we are going to buff the interior of our nail tips pretty much in the areas where the bubblegum gel would be adhered. So I'm gonna use a thin bit. I'm gonna use my five in one drill bit from Amazon. And I'm gonna use this on a slowish speed. Just, and use just the, the very tip of the nail um, bit. And I'm just gonna, you see, I'm just gonna go in and just scrape in and basically remove the shine and rough up that internal surface of the nail that will be attaching itself to the bubblegum gel because you want a rough surface so it can really adhere to the nail if you are someone who likes to change their nails frequently um and by frequently i mean maybe every five days or so i would maybe skip this step i would skip the priming step as well and the dehydrator step because all of those steps the um, dehydrator, the primer, or the protein bond, whatever the company that you're going to use calls it. Um, when all that is used, that is used to enhance the longevity of the length that you will wear the nails. I feel like I could have said that a lot shorter, but whatever. So I'm just going in and buffing all these out. I'm going to, you know, just blow out the dust after each one as well I'll make sure these are all clean you know dust that out so i'm just going to use a little dremel bit and do that 
you know, nail retention is all about prep, honey. So you want to make sure you properly prep your natural nails and apply that dehydrator, apply that primer, let it dry. Sometimes I use on if I really want the nail set to last and I mean last at least maybe for me. A long time is like a week and a half, maybe two weeks, because I got two big old pit bulls at home that are always driving me crazy. Um, and I'm doing a lot of physical things, you know, at home. So my nails go through a lot, you know, whether it's washing dishes, doing stuff like that, you know, it's a lot. So I'm trying to keep these nails on for at least a week. <laughs> so I put on my primer. I only did one coat this time to let and let it dry. I'm gonna I actually usually usually I will put a coat of the primer on top of this dremeled out bit as well but yeah also if you don't have a dremel you can actually use the um, primer or the protein bond in this case to chemically etch the inside of the nail so if you don't have a dremel don't worry about it so right now I'm just gonna go in with the Model 1's Nail Prep Dehydrator. Now I've been using this stuff for a long time and it's great. I love it. It helps dehydrate the nail plate um, to remove any excess oils, any uh, anything that will basically help um, prohibit the nail from really getting a good seal and hold with the products you're about to put on. So there's my dehydrator. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's gonna let that dry for a sec. And now I got my Young Nails Protein Bond, also known as Primer. Um, it doesn't matter really which one you use. I actually though really love the Young Nails Protein Bond. Like this stuff is magical. Ever since I switched to the Young Nails Protein Bond, my nails actually have lasted longer. Um, my prep hasn't changed, so it, it actually definitely is the, um, the protein bond, I feel. So just gonna have, you know, apply a nice coat on there. And this is an acid-free primer. So if by any chance it touches your skin, it will not burn. I do know that there are some primers out there that do contain a little bit of acid where if it does come in contact with your skin, it might sting a little bit. You might have a little algae. Like Dr. Fauci. No, let me stop. Anyways, so yeah, you see me doing that here. My application, sometimes a little shaky. Remember, I'm recording myself. I'm a virgin to this life. I've never done this before. All right, so we're done with that. And we're gonna let that air dry for about a minute or two. And, uh, fave part, the application. I'm so excited. This is the first time I'm using the Enel Couture 123 Go Bubblegum Gel. This color is in pink. So you see, we got it opened. Um, we opened that last time in our unboxing video. So now today we are going to use it. And I am so excited to see how this turns out. What, meanwhile, me holding my little opera glasses up to my eyes to see. Um, for flash curing, so basically um, you want to flash cure this product. Once you apply it onto the nail, you want to flash cure it so it does not move. I have um, a gooseneck lamp as you can see that is attached to the side of my desk that I just move to the side when I'm not needing it move it again to my side when I need it it is so great so affordable got it on Amazon as well I swear it's like Amazon like it's, it's not like Amazon is sponsoring this video but yo Amazon call me if you want to all right please let's work out on some so Usually, I always start with the furthest finger away from me. So I usually start with the pinky. I was gonna start with scooping with the little scooper thingy that is a cuticle pusher, but I've seen him do this on his website, so I'm gonna try it. 
So I did a little scoop in, wiped the top off, a little excess. We're gonna go in at an about 45 degree angle. So towards the cuticle area, but not all the way. And we're gonna lay it, press it down gently. And it's just gonna spread that gel up. So as you can see, it has filled up my entire nail bed. It has surpassed my nail bed a bit. So look, this is my first time using this product, y'all. So you see there's some excess. So this video, there will definitely be excess spillage um, from this stuff. So I'm gonna use my little uh, wooden pusher, cuticle pusher, to go around the nail area. And I can just scrape that off. It's so simple. And what's great about this is that this is not like a builder in a bottle where, you know, you put the nail on and it's sliding left to right. So this is actually holding on to my nail while I do this cleanup work, which is great. So I'm just going to put this under the flash cure. And I usually flash cure for about 5 to 15 seconds, depending on how I feel that day. I felt a little under 10 seconds today it was good. So I'm flash curing, making sure that nail is straight and I'm holding down and applying pressure. Look at that. It is one honey. So I am, that was just a flash cure. So there will be a full two minute cure at the end. Now, I'm sure a minute is enough, but me, I like, I wanna make sure that this thing is going is stuck. So I go for the full two minutes, honey, full 120. All right, so we gonna attach now our ring finger. Our ring finger, honey. You see, I'm having some issues here. It's all a learning curve. Getting used to the consistency of the product, knowing how much to apply. In this case, knowing how much to scoop into the nail. I didn't think I did that bad on this one, actually. It ain't too bad. But anyway, look, I decided, I'm like, look, I know this was only $20, but any excess is going right back in that pot. And because <laughs> this stuff, I mean, it was cheap, but look, products ain't cheap, though. <laughs> so you see, I'm just going around cleaning up the edges, the free, the um, sidewalls, cuticle area just to make sure that that looks nice and clean and the nail is straight before I flash cure. So we are going into that flash cure gooseneck lamp. And I'm keeping it off camera because I don't want that light, that blue light will cure that unopened pot of that pink gel that you see on the left side or on the top. Um, you know, I should have covered it, but I didn't. But that's why I just keep it over there. I just keep it at a distance. At a distance. From a distance. Y'all know Bette Midler. She's great. All right. Middle finger. Need a little more than the ring finger. A lot more than the pinky. Let's see how we do. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Look at me trying to be a, a nail enthusiast on YouTubes. All right. Yes, look at that. Okay. I'm kind of impressed with myself and how I'm putting these on pretty straight today. Because a couple of my fingers go over to the left. You know, they're a little crooked. So... Sometimes I get nervous when I'm applying these nail tips. The shorter the nail tip, the more difficult it is f to make I sure that it's you. straight. <laughs> so I'm appreciating the length of these nail tips. Right. I'm going to tell you that right now because it is helping me make sure there. that they is nice and straight. Back in to the flash cure. Get that flash cube going. Yeah. All right. Now we on to the index. The finger to show people where to go. Yeah. 
Yo, working with this stuff, it is great. I have used so many type of these gel adhesives for um, gel X dupe situations. And uh, it's absolutely fabulous. I love this one. I love it so much. Actually, I went and ordered um, another shade of this bubblegum gel from his website. So that is currently being processed and I'll be getting that soon. Also, his shipping is fabulous. Enel Couture has beautiful shipping. Beautiful. Ciao. I ordered from his company and another company at the same time. Enel Couture ships from Arizona. The other company I ordered from was in Florida. Let me know why I got the Enel Couture stuff like a week earlier than the Florida stuff. I can't. I can't with these people. All right, clean up that. Make sure we don't got no spillage because we don't want that on our skin. You know, this is HEMA free products and you know, but we want to make sure we don't get no contact dermatitis from the gel being on our nails. Ooh, ooh, I'm feeling this one child. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm, I think I'm feeling some heat on this one. This damn she burning gum a little gel. bit. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, all right. Ooh. All right. Got a little heat spike in that one. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, the, the you know it can depend on your nail being your natural nail being too thin. Who's um, it's the can be the product. Um, that will cause heat spikes because when you put these products inside that lamp or under that light, what is happening, you're having an exothermic reaction. So all those particles inside the chemical, they're bouncing around, moving really, really, really fast. And that is causing the hardening. And that's what, you know, that same thing with acrylic, también. same thing. So... We're going to keep this on, get my thumb, get my little hitchhiking finger, make sure she's straight. Is it? Yes, she's straight. We good? All right, in the lamp. Ooh. Ooh, child. Ooh, I'm feeling some burning. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Girl, blow. Uh-uh. Ooh. Oh, that one was hot. Oh, I had a heat spike with that one. Oh, that thumb was vicious. Oh, all right. So now everything's in there. I'm going to put my hand in there for the full 120 seconds. So now we done. We out. We out of there. We did our thing. So now we going in with our little dust brush. And I'm just dusting around the edge, just making sure everything's nice and cool. All right, so my bad, y'all. I didn't even notice my camera didn't record it. My uh, child, this, 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 is one, this is my third video. Give me a break. I used my five-in-one drill bit. I went around the cuticle areas just to get any of that excess, that spillage out. And then I used my dust brush to just you know get all that off and now i'm using the buffer to buff all that shine away off of the net the extensions the enhancements um that is so the gel can adhere very well this is my favorite gel polish that i have found it is called miss city and it is the super top coat y'all i got this stuff off of timu the bottle is so elegant that long stem comes to a point reminding me of my favorite stiletto shape Ugh, look at that and look at the reveal of the color that beautiful pink color underneath and you know after you buff the nail when you apply that top coat it's like oh ta-da magique c'est très magnifique Esta de madre is very, very nice. So again, 
the Miss City is M I S I D Y is the brand and it's on Timu and they have a beautiful great top coat a nice hard gel top coat I've had no chipping I've had no peeling I've had no breakage so yes I must say speaks for itself it's a reputation kiss kiss speaks for itself so yeah just top coating on my nails doing the thing i usually start you know about halfway go down and then i'll put a blob towards uh the mid nail and then just push up just to get that cuticle but be careful not to flood the cuticle go in for a good 120 seconds i like to make sure my stuff is cured y'all all right so we going i tried using the knees i tried i really did with that rubber that jelly but child it wasn't working i need i'm gonna need to take some classes because that jelly just does not work or I, like i'm not used to working with stones that without a flat back so that's on me i'm still gonna use it for what i'm gonna use so i have these other beautiful um rhinestones I'm going to use the silver ones and I'm going to put those on my ring and index finger and just a cute little design, you know, something cute, something very cute, something elegant, something simple, something for the working woman, you know, we got to be professional, being professional, tu sabes, I'm so sorry that I'm out of, um, what you call it? I'm out of frame. I need to work on my frame in bed. But, you know, I'm picking up. Um, anyway, I put the glue on with the wooden stick. And now I'm using my wax, um, my wax picker tool to pick up the stones and place them. So my idea was to take the largest of that silver, beautiful, um, clear rhinestones, then take the next size and get a few of those going and start a little curve and then get the next smallest size and put that and do that all the way till I get to the side of the nail. So uh, Pedro from the past, uh, will you do that for me right now, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little faster, please. You see, you see what I'm going. You see what I'm going for, right? All right, hold on. I think this might be the last one. All right, yeah, I think this is the last one. You see what I did? A little gradient, a little uh, not, not a gradient, but like a little. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. That's nice. All right, so I'm gonna get my little flash cure again. Get my little lamp. I'm trying to fuss with this little button this little switch all right i'm just putting it under the lamp to flash cure for maybe about five ten seconds just so the stones and that jelly can start to harden so they're not slipping and sliding all around because ooh, i do sure hate that when i'm putting it on with like some liquid glue them stones start moving and shifting like they do in the electric slide on your nail ow uh you can do it it's electric boogie yogi yogi i just on there just shuffling to the left and to the right doing the dip and then hitting it backwards all right so i'm taking the same wooden stick with some of that um gummy jelly and i'm gonna just put that in the shape of where i'm gonna place the stones and i'm gonna do the same thing that i did on the other finger but I'm going to do this one kind of the opposite. I want to do basically like a, what you call it? Like a parentheses on my nails. <laughs> but they're like parentheses in my middle finger. Y'all get it? Y'all see, y'all see. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. 
So you see how that the ring finger is, is curving inward. This one is gonna be cur is gonna be curving inward towards the other finger. Yeah, I'm trying to do a little something, something. I love this little wax picker. Let me tell you, child, I got most of my nail stuff from Timu. Timu got some quality products. Now, I have heard some things of other companies which will not be named in said video. But, you know, I haven't heard that much stuff about Timu. So, look. I'm going to keep hustling with Timu if, if Timu takes care of its people and its staff and stuff, you know. So, yeah, I'm just finishing this up. Putting my little last stones. I hope all y'all are doing great. Sending love and light and positivity to all of y'all. The Barry Q Nails community. Going back in the lamp. Going for a full 120. Make sure that stuff is nice and cured. Close that. We don't want nothing falling out. Do my little organization. You know, I like to do a little cleanup with my hands in the lamp. If I can. You know, if the stuff's nearby. Try to do a little something, something just to help myself towards the end. Because, you know, at the very end, you got to clean up, you know. You the one doing it. You did it yourself. So you got to clean up after yourself. Yeah, just cover that. <laughs> just cover that excess. All right, we are out of the lamp. Now, look at that, honey. Look at the bling. Look at it. Ugh. The shine, darling. The shine. And now, the finishing touch. A beautiful cuticle oil to hydrate and get that finish touch look. So this cuticle oil I got from my local um, nail supply. It has a beautiful scent. It hydrates. It has healed my cuticles from past damage. It feels so smooth on your skin. It is amazing. Chow cuticle oil. Let me tell you, once a day, at least. That will keep your cuticles looking nice every day and beautiful. And look how, oof, oof, my pearls. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking it with me. I hope you like this set as much as I do. I am impressed with myself. Pat on the shoulder. Follow me on social media, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok at Barry Q Nails, B-E-A-R-Y-Q-N-A-I-L-Z. Love y'all.